So we're here making a video about things to compost into your garden. Of course, when you're online, there's all kinds of different things they tell you to compost, newspapers, cardboard, stuff like that. We're going to talk more about like kitchen type of scraps and stuff like that that's good, you know, good for your garden. So my daughter came up with her own list. So she made this list here. She knows she we've been composting for quite a while. So we have a little barrel in the kitchen that all the kitchen scraps that are compostable go into. And I have so, a few spelling errors. Yeah, that's okay. I I put everything that that she came up with on this side, and then the other side of the paper I'll have the things that I added. So she already knew watermelon rinds, cantaloupe rinds, eggshells. Um, used coffee grounds, apple cores and peels, banana peels, cucumber peels and the ends that you discard, carrot tops, the tops of uh, bell peppers that you don't uh, eat, those are good and compostable, avocado skins or whatever the heck you call the outside of them, mango skins, um, any of that prepackaged lettuce and greens and stuff like that, sometimes I know that stuff goes bad pretty quick. If you don't get it all eaten in time and it starts to get kind of slimy and you're going to throw it out, that's good to go in a compost barrel. Um, any produce that's getting bad spots on it or whatever, apples and pears and things like that that are, that are going bad on you, that's uh, good for the compost bin. Um, strawberry tops whenever we eat strawberries there's always the you know the tops you cut off so anyhow those are all things that that my 10 year old already knew when she made her list so I'm adding some other things on um, so let's see here so we have potato peels so those are really good any of the tomato vines sometimes you buy um, you know, the tomatoes that come, you know, uh, still connected together on, on vines, any of that stuff is good. Or sometimes you cut that little, uh, pit or whatever out of the middle of the tomato where the vine connects. You can throw all those in, um, grape stems are kind of woody and good. After Halloween, the old pumpkins, that's, that's a lot of good organic matter to compost into your garden. I forgot that we, we like composted pumpkins in the garden and they grew yeah actually we did I actually and uh yeah those those pumpkins did did grow those seeds actually sprouted more pumpkins which we've been able to just kind of turn back into the soil and uh, provide more nutrients um the outer lettuce and cabbage leaves sometimes you buy a head of lettuce and some of the outer leaves or cabbages and you, those outer leaves you discard um, when you kind of peel it back or or the cores too um, you know cabbage when you cut it a lot of times that that uh, bottom real kind of woody almost pithy core um, that stuff can all go in the compost tops of radishes beets turnips that stuff is really good uh, zucchini peels and ends those are all really good to go in the compost bin cherry stems um, the celery bottom and the ends a lot of times people cut all the you know the tops off a little bit so that uh, they're very um, fresh and everything and the whole the bottom part of the celery that you don't eat though that's good too um, those asparagus ends at the bottom a lot of times people cut those off and and uh, I know we do and uh, you that way you have a uh, you know the more green part of your asparagus but all the bottoms can go in the compost um, corn husks and corn cobs after you eat your sweet corn and and everything that can go in the bin pineapple skin and cores are great to go in the compost bin um, all this stuff can get turned right into your garden um, squash rinds any kinds of squash acorn squash butternut squash any of that stuff where you eat the the interior of, of the squash. squash yeah pumpkin pum is a yeah pumpkin is a squash too yeah um, kiwi skins if you eat kiwis those uh, those skins can go in uh, broccoli and cauliflower waste I know when you eat broccoli sometimes those the real kind of pithy or woody you know bottom part of the 
of the stems and, and uh, crowns. Some people cut that stuff off. Any of that waste is good. Good to go in there. Um, any bad herbs, herbs go bad real fast. Sometimes, uh, you know, they go bad faster or than you can mushroom. eat them all. Mushrooms, uh, same thing can happen. Mm -hmm. You know, you pick a few out that are kind of slimy or whatever going bad before you use the rest of your mushrooms. Any of that stuff can go. Same thing happens with berries. When you buy blueberries and raspberries and things like that, they start to go bad pretty fast. Occasionally you're washing them and you find a, you know, a few bad berries or whatever. Those can go right into the compost bin. So anyhow, that is our, that's our list. Of things um, to compost. Things that can go, kind of kitchen waste type of stuff that can go in your compost bin. And, uh, you know, like I said, online you'll see all kinds of other household stuff. I don't, I don't try to put newspaper and cardboard and all kinds of stuff like that into my beds. I want stuff that's going to break down quick, provide a lot of nutrients for worms and other soil bacteria and stuff like that to break things down fast. Some of the other browns and stuff like that that they tell you to put a lot of in there i don't do a lot of that uh, some people probably do but uh anyhow if you know you can you can mix in you know some browns but it just kind of depends you know what uh what you're aiming for i like to be able to turn things over pretty fast and move things around and um anyhow with our compost barrel i think we have another compost video we did and uh, it kind of showed you we dig holes in areas of the garden we're not using. And uh, we just start dumping compost in there and keep it moist. And and uh, it breaks down pretty fast. So anyhow, that's our list. And as you can see with how many good things on the list that even came from a 10-year-old, once you compost for a while, your kids will even know what needs to go in the compost bin and and uh, and as as you start to get some stuff in it just uh, take it out into the garden and uh, you don't have to have a compost barrel you can just just dig a hole and, and uh, yep dig a I, hole I and plant and uh, put it in there and kind of rotate around your your gardens that you're going to be planting in and and uh, the plants will love it especially when they get into those areas where the roots hit those areas with a lot of good nutrients your plants will go crazy so yeah and I know whenever I eat a banana the peel does not go in the trash it goes in my compost barrel yeah it does. Yep, it goes in the compost barrel. Banana peels provide a lot of potassium and uh, a banana lot of... Banana peels. Yeah, banana peels. Yeah, yeah, you guys know that right away. So, anyhow, that's uh, a pretty good list of most of your kitchen waste that can go that can go in the, you know, in a compost barrel that you can have in your kitchen and just uh you know, empty it into the into the garden periodically, dig a hole and, and bury it, keep it moist, it'll break down fast, and uh, eventually if you're planting in those areas, then the plants will love it and go crazy. So. Ah.